Number three, in elect in the electrical circuit saw, yeah, it cell has EMF 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. And has negligible internal resistance. Yeah. The voltmeter reading is 1.0 volt. 1.0 volt. This. Okay. We have uh, round three question A, B, C. Yeah. State the direction of the current in the circuit. Okay. Now, you see this uh, about polarity. Yeah. Uh, positive and negative. Yeah. Uh, this uh, positive on the long length, yeah, this is positive. This one positive, yeah. Uh, also, this one positive. Also, this one positive, yeah. And then current uh, start from positive polarity. Yeah, and the opposite one is negative. Yeah, uh, kalau kita kita ganti, this is negative. Hmm. And also this is negative too. And also this is negative too. So the current actually start from positive. Yeah. But you see this, this is two of them. They have two more than one, this one here. Yeah. So the current is, yeah, uh, the, the direction current is like uh, this one. I'm clockwise, yeah. Oh my God, the game. Mm. Clockwise. Why clockwise? Because uh, this voltage 1.5, 1.5, they has same in apa, direction uh, current, yeah? Yeah, opposite with this one. Uh, kalau kita ini kan lagi, mungkin ini kebalikannya, ya. Yeah. Uh, jadi dia kebalik. Hmm. So like um, clockwise, yeah. When we uh, type this, this is clockwise. Clockwise direction. That's it, yeah. Then uh, what about B question? Oh my God. See on B question. Calculate the value of the circuit current I. Yeah. Okay. We have current this. Yeah. Uh, uh, circulate or flowing in this circuit. Yeah. Uh, as. Um, uh, clockwise direction, yeah. And we have uh, information that on the uh, voltage on this resistor on 10 ohm is 1.0 volt, yeah. So it means when we use uh, ohm's law, yeah. We can find the current on this circuit. Yeah. That's I equals to V divided by R. So I equals to V is 1.0 volt. Yeah. And then divided by 10. Yes, this is something 0 0.1. Yeah. Equals to 0. 
point one. Yeah, that's it. This is for uh, question B. Yeah, they ask me about how much ele uh, how much electric current is on the circuit. Yeah, this is actually sim in sim in electric current. Yeah, start from this, 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 this is same thing. Yeah, same thing in current. So uh, when we only put from this information in 10 ohms, yeah. So I equals to V over R, we have information that V is 1.0 volt and then R we have 10, yeah. So one over 10, 0 0.1 amp. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now, uh, C question, calculate the resistor R of the resistor. Oh, this one. Okay, actually we have uh, already know about the current, yeah. Or this circuit, yeah. So we can say we can uh, use this formula also, yeah. Uh, when I equals to V over R, it means, yeah, uh, V we have three, uh, mm -hmm. three kind of volt, yeah. We have 1.5, yeah. And then we have also 1.5 again. Mm -hmm. And then we have minus 1.5. Oh, 1.5. Yeah. Three voltage, three kind of voltage, three batteries here in an each battery is 1.5. But uh, you can see this. Uh, this is different in polarity. Yeah. The long one is positive and the short one is negative. And the current is start from the positive one. Yeah. So the current is in a clockwise. Then resistor in total resistor, we have two resistor, 10 and R. Yeah. So this total resistor is 10 plus R. We break it. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, this equals to 1.5. Uh, oh yeah, current is, we have already current is 0 0.1, yeah, uh, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 equals to blah, 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 divided by 10 over, yeah. This is also 0 0.1 equals to uh, 1.5 divided by, uh, I will erase this. Yeah. Divided by 10 plus R. Yeah. Hmm. So it means, yeah, if we uh, change position 10 plus R, yeah, it means 1.5 divided 0. Point, this is equals to 15. Okay, so from this we have R equals to yes, five ohm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, R equals to five ohms. I hope you understand. Yeah, this is uh, actually still easy. Yeah, uh, still IGCSA. IGCSA because we only use a formula of Ohm slow, yeah. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, number four. This question is about applying Kirchhoff law to predict result for the circuit shown below. Yeah. Okay, this is we call it as two loops. Yeah, we have loop one on the left side, and then we have loop two on the right side. We have six volt on the left. We have zero point two ampere. We have I one. There is still we we didn't know about this one, and we have one hundred ohms I two, three volt in here, and then we have resistor variable. Okay, we check one by one for the questions are. 
the source of EMF have rechargeable internal resistance. Okay, they don't have internal resistance yet in six volt or a three point oh volt. <clears throat> then use slope one to determine the current I one. Yeah, in the one hundred ohm resistor. Okay. Uh, no. Um. Here. we have uh, yeah e yeah total emf plus ir equals to zero yeah this is second law of kirchhoff yeah that we have uh or oh sorry sorry this is equals here yeah, equals ir so, hmm. So it means, yeah, uh, E, we have 6.0 volt, 6.0 volt equals to I, uh, we have I uh, 0 0.2 ampere, yeah, and then times width, now, uh, a resistance of this loop one, yeah, the cross, when the crossing is 0 0.2 ampere, there is no resistor here. Yeah. So resistor here is zero. Yeah. Okay. Back to here. This is 0 0.2 oh yeah. Times zero. Yeah. Because there is no resistance. Yeah. On the flowing current 0 0.2 oh ampere. Yeah. Then plus here. I1. Yeah. I1. Uh, times 100 yeah yeah because i want they have area here yeah they have line flowing yeah on the 100 resistor 100 ohm of resistor so i want times 100 yeah i want times 100 okay finally we get a uh, 6.0 yeah equals to yeah uh I1 times 100, yeah, or 100 I1. So I1 equals to 6 divided by 100, 0 0.06 ampere. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is total E equals to total IR, yeah. We can say total E equals to total IR. Okay, this is for answering a uh, question A. Now, what about question B? State the current I2. Okay, uh, I2, we can uh, start working from this point. Yeah, uh, we have a uh, Kirchhoff first law. Yeah, that current entering the junction equals to current leaving from the junction. Yeah, this is equal zero point two o. Yeah, equals yeah uh, I one plus I two. Yeah, yeah. This is entering and this is leaving. Yeah, the leaving one is I two plus I one. Yeah. So uh, 0 0.20 equals, we have I1 0 0.06, yeah, again plus I2. So I2 means 0 0.2 minus 0 0.06, yeah, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.06, 0 0.14. 0.14 ampere. Yeah, that's it. This is for B question. Yeah, answer for B question. Okay. On A question, we use uh, Kirchhoff second law, and the second on the B question, we use uh, Kirchhoff first law. Okay, 
uh, C. Use loop to to determine the resistance R of the variable resistor. This use loop to yeah loop to to determine the resistance R to variable resistor. Okay, we already have I1 and I2. Uh, so when we use loop to, uh, we can use uh, this formula, ya. E equals to IR. Oh, sorry. E, yeah, equals to total IR. On the loop two, we have uh, three volt, yeah. Uh, sorry. Mm, yes. 3 volt 3.0 yeah equals to uh, we have i1 yeah i1 yeah times with 100 mm. and then uh, let's see here plus but i use minus i2 Y minus, yeah, you see this, this is current of loop is, apa namanya, opposite with uh, I2, ya, yeah, current I2. Loop to uh, clockwise, eh, sorry, loop to anti-clockwise, but I2 is clockwise. So the sign is negative, ya. Yeah. Negative I2 times R. Oke, okay, we substitute this number, ya, yeah, back again 3.0 volt equals to I1, I1 is this 0.06, 0.06, yeah. and then times 100, then negative, ya, yeah, I2 times R. So, we see this 3.0 volt, 2.0 volt equals to 6.0, yeah, minus I2, oh yeah, I2, kita belum cek sih ya, I2 is 0.14, yeah, so uh, this, 0.14, 0.14 R. Ya, yeah, it means ya yeah, kalau kita balikin ini kan uh, 0.14 of R equals to 6 minus 3 equals to 3.0. Ya. Yeah. So R we have yes 3 divided 0.14. Nah, oke, okay. 21.42 ya. Yeah. Let's say 21 ya, yeah. round 21. Oh, um. ya, yeah. that's it. Oh. Oke, okay, uh, that's it ya. Yeah. Uh, hope you understand about what I explain. Yeah.